hey guys what's up so this is second video of agile process and what happens is let's say your sprint is over you would release the product to the market and now once it is released product to the market uh, the entire team will sit together and we'll do a retrospect uh, we will try to go over the story which we have planned and which we have released or is we missed to some of the feature we have planned and we have not done that right so everything we'll try to retro retrospect right so we'll sit together and we'll go one by one and even we'll try to make a point what went well and what we would have done better right so that in the next release cycle based on this uh, idea or based on the the feedback which we have we can enhance the second release right so usually this happens release by release uh, every release we do that we do a retrospect in the retrospect mainly your scrum master he will drive the show and uh, he will he will what he will do he will go through the feature which was designed developed and delivered and also he will go through the feature which was decided either which was designed or was not tested or it was not designed itself right so he will try to make a point like why it has been missed out whether we have overestimated whether the time was not sufficient or whether the team is lagging so based on that based on uh, his actually uh, the retrospect points either he will talk to some other resource or in next release onwards we will not plan the feature which we cannot fulfill right so generally we don't want to keep backlog right generally uh, it's cleaning the backlog in it company is very tough so once you have a backlog it will keep on grow and we cannot clean the backlog items right so usually this retrospect meeting will happens uh, every release and then also we we see about the burn down chart so the burn down chart is very important usually the burn down chart will tell you so whenever you have planned a feature when you have started and when you have finished sometimes what happens uh, let's say you have a cycle of two weeks you didn't do anything for the first week in the second week you did all feature you coded you have delivered to the qv team now qv team has no time so this everything will get caught in the burn down chart right it will exactly tell you okay how your burn down chart was like when you have started how much you have released how much you have not released right so this burn down chart will give you the confidence and the burn down chart basically your burn down chart whatever you have that management will look into that so that's how the process happens guys and this was the the missing point which i forgot to add in my first video that's what i made this a small one right so remember retrospect is very important in the sprint planning right because we we try to go over we try to analyze we try to see that what went well and what we would have done better so thank you guys thank you for watching this and i hope you guys know my uh, youtube channel right so all the video will be uploaded to my youtube channel thank you guys